right, well, I grabbed my dad's 31 Model A. Uh, I was going to install these for him as a surprise, and there's the controller on the dash just sitting there. Uh, just, and then I started running these wires, and here's the, the light going on the back bumper. It goes in there nice and neatly, and here's what it looks like when it's installed on the front bumper. And then I just had to kind of make sure I uh, just kind of the cable was nice and neat, just make sure I zip tied those out of the way. There's a spot behind the fender support there where you can get up inside the, the engine well. And it ran and followed the front lights from the right side and followed it across underneath that radiator. And then I come around on the other side here with that one and went up the same spot kind of behind that uh, support. And just chased those up together at this point where they come together right about there. And then I just went right along the generator wire and wire tied them right to it so they would be inconspicuous, I guess. And uh, just left them loose for now. And I labeled them. I thought that was important. Uh, <laughs> uh, these are the back lights. I ran the wires up from the back lights and then followed the wiring there and then came up through the, about the same spot. And then I came across, made sure I wasn't getting involved in any mechanical areas, and then zip tied those together neatly and went through this, uh, what would be a bus bar, I guess maybe you call it. And here they are inside the car. So that didn't take too long. It was a pretty easy job, just being you know, neat about it, making sure I labeled everything correctly. And then uh, I'm about to hook up the uh, connector for these. Uh, and they, that's the connector right there. And they gave us, uh, look at that, a really nice screwdriver to do that because it's tiny. And uh, in this next, right, cleaned up the ends so they're about that long and they went right nice and neat in there. And you tighten those little screws down. There's the order. The left and rights go on those bottom four and there they are in the bottom four they're nice so I gotta get a power wire so I came off this side and near the coil there's a hot lead that must be the feed the key I guess I'm not really sure so I got the hot lead and I ran that wire the red one there back in with all the other ones through the same opening in the firewall and then they came through there nice and neat and zip tied the red ones with the rest and there's i didn't show where i hooked up the ground wire but the ground wire was hooked to a just a body bolt that was up in there and so that was not bad just made a connection here's the uh, fuse connector and uh, the test light came on after i admit i couldn't figure out what was wrong and then i realized i didn't put the fuse in it and there's, there's the fuse I'm like wow why didn't i have power and the kick panel's back on looking great it looks nice and neat in there and the wires are all tied up kind of as neat as i could i tighten them up with i tied them up a little bit with this little wire to go to on the i don't know what that little bolt is up there i got a got a square nut on there and you can't see them from inside it looks neat and you really can't see the controller unless you were looking for it yeah so i think i've got a little bit of some video sound here you can hear how they sound inside the car they're nice and loud and that one on the left and then if you want to do the four ways just push them both and then they that loud beep goes that loud sound goes off after a little while but it turned out great i was very happy with it here i am pulling in the driveway with the front turn signal on nice and nice and neat and, and we're going back in time uh i would suggest getting these these are really cool thanks